Nice, nice, nice! Alright, welcome back to BattleTech. My goodness, I am just very, like, lagging behind my recording schedule. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back to BattleTech. And I believe we are approaching the final mission, I think. I don't know. I didn't do any off-screen preparations whatsoever. This save is literally the save that was from, like, after last episode. <laughs> I didn't do anything off-screen. Uh, I did buy a... Uh, I did buy me an awesome, though, just now. <laughs> just before I clicked on record, and oh my god, look at this thing. Looks so good. Oh god. Huh. I thought the PPCs were at the arms. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of the Warhammer. Huh. Awesome. It looks similar to the Warhammer, doesn't it? They're not really brother or sister units, but... Yeah, they look... They look similar. But anyway, yeah, hopefully me not doing thing, anything off screen or won't fuck me over because we're just going to go straight into the final mission, which is, uh, I think you can, uh, I, I, I don't I remember him saying ready for, uh, ready tubes, lances or something. So <laughs> I don't know, but hopefully everything goes fine and all dandy because uh i know what we're gonna be facing i got spoiled um a while back about a certain unit that we'll be facing but it won't be the first time of me facing it i faced it before i didn't record it at the time but I, w I did face it before and i did kill it at a great cost but i did kill it <laughs> hopefully it'll be the same it'll maybe not be the same i'll still be able to kill it without the great cost anyway Without further ado, one final time for this game, I think. Head on to let's head on to Karamadir. And let's end this uh coup. Let's go. Mean. I forgot what he sounds like, god damn it. Uh, <laughs> uh fuck, how does he sound like? I don't know. <laughs> Gamea, welcome home. We haven't spoke face to face since your father's funeral. Strange, isn't it? For all the time we've been fighting each other, for all our struggles, we haven't actually talked until now. I'm not here to talk with you, Uncle. I'm here to demand your surrender. Then you will walk away from this parlay disappointed. Did I teach you nothing, Kamea? The end game is a time. For negotiations, not demands. I remember your teachings well enough, Uncle. But positions were reverse. You would attack me without hesitation or mercy. The founding houses have rallied behind me. You are outnumbered and outgunned. You have nowhere left to turn. And aside from a single hostage, you have nothing to negotiate with. A single hostage? He's your dearest friend, is he not? Surely he means more to you than nothing. Alexander means a great deal to me, but I would sacrifice any one person, even myself, for the good of the Reach. You are defeated. Concede. I've heard your proposal. Now you hear mine. You will leave this system in my hands and solidify power base elsewhere. I will rule Karamadir, and I will hold your friend to ensure your good behavior. You will agree to these terms, or you will die. I will die. Your words are error, uncle. You have nothing left to threaten me with. So you believed when you moved on Castle Nautilus. I think that you're bluffing, and I'm willing to wager my life on it. I'll see you on the field of battle. Yes. I suppose you will. The image of your view screen cuts out. Espinosa must have terminated the call. Maybe you know something we don't. 
perhaps. But while my uncle holds Karamadir, he retains the illusion of legitimacy, and that is something I can no longer allow. The time has come to take it from him. Darius, raise the founding houses on the comms. Tell them that I'm ordering them to drop. All of our companies, our entire fleet, everything we have. As always, I will lead from the front. We're taking Chromadir, and we're doing it now. Skokak, I want you to remain at ready until I call for you. Prepare your mech warriors and wait for my signal. We are going to crush what remains of my uncle's directorate. With your company's help, I will retake the throne that was stolen from me. And come hell or high water, we will rescue Lord Madeira. I swear it on my father's name. Are you kidding me? After all I've done, I'm reserved. <laughs> sure, you take the brunt of the, 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 the shots. I'll clean up the rest. I'll take it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Whoa, goosebumps. <laughs> that's so cool. Hey, that's, that's, that, 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 that's the boat. I thought I'm holding back. That's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, awesome punch day. What is that? I'm not sure what it is. Boom. Some kind of orbital. Long range orbital strike. What's going on here? You sure listen to your uncle, Lady Rana. We have unfit. Oh, this gets back. Carries a full complement of battle mechs, plus enough firepower to level a city. This is a city. Now it's too late to withdraw your forces. When I reach Cormadir, I will drown your restoration in a sea of fire. Every dog in Orano colors will die. Thankfully, I'm green. <laughs> my son from me, Kamea. My hope for the future died with him. Now I'm killing yours. Okay, maybe I should have gotten a bigger lance. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm probably going to face him and the thing I'm going to be facing later on, probably. Well, boss, things are looking grim, I've got to say. But hey, at least we figured out what Espinosa's secret weapon is. How long has this fighting been? Like, how, how long have we been in space already? Thanks for, for that ray of sunshine, young. Did any of you see the wall behind Ostergaard? There was... There were burn marks, bullet holes. What looked like small fire, arms fire. His sailors must try to seize the bridge. If there was an immediate attempt on the Iberia, it failed. And as unhinged as Ostergaard may have sounded, he was right. We can't withdraw our troops without the Directorate cutting them down to ribbons, and we can't stop a Fortress-class dropship. At least not through conventional means. You're about to give a sketchy, sketchy job, aren't you? I get that feeling. Your instincts are as sharp as ever, Skokak. You're gonna bring down the Iberia. <laughs> you all. <laughs> yeah, how exactly? The Argo isn't exactly a warship. She doesn't even carry weapons. No. But she is carrying something that can bring down a dropship. It very nearly destroyed the Argo, if memory serves. We're going to use a Lakura. Oh, the virus. Uh, nah, uh, no way. Later on, that code completely screwed us at Castle Nautilus. It nearly detonated our fuel tanks. It's too dangerous to go tinkering around it. But if we, we can't... We don't have a choice, Sumire. It's the closest thing we have to weapon that could destroy that ship. If I were to be... If I were wrong about this, Farah would have told us by now. Tell them, Doctor. We can't do this, can't we? I forgot how she sounded like Spall. God damn it. Yes, I think we can. Even if we don't destroy the Iberia, it will cripple her long enough to take her out of the fight. But that code is a science experiment. It's not a weapon. I, I think I can modify it into one, but there will be risk involved, and I 
can't offer any guarantees. Hmm. I can't say I'm in love with idea, but we don't have anything else, do we? That's because not any. Look, Lady Arano is right. She and her army are righteously shafting if the Iberia makes plentiful. You want to tell me I'm wrong, Mayor? Because if you know something about the situation that I don't, and I like to hear, you're not wrong. This sucks. But yeah, the alternative is worse. We're gonna have to try it and hope for the best. I think the alternative is to let it land and drop this thing on that thing. <laughs> drop ship. Drop it on another ship. Hey. <laughs> it sounds like we're, we're all on the same page. I'll go ahead and get started. We're still going to need a way to, to get the code onto Ostergaard's ship. I suggest taking over a ground-based communications array. Something. On a network that the Iberia's computer trusts. It looks like a sim. Like a sim 4 character. <laughs> There's a direct trade comm station on Lyris. The Throne World's second moon. It was the system primary's communication hub during my father's reign and my uncle uses it for the same purpose now. You could use it to transmit a Locura, then destroy it. The t control tower is automated, so there shouldn't be any collateral damage. You'll be killing two birds with one stone. I like how you think. I'll read the explosive. We're likely to encounter heavy resistance when we touch down. If I... If I see if I can find an engineering solution to help us deal with it. Maybe a team could seize control of their turrets. Make them fight for us for a change. You should probably try to... Bring a jump capable plans if you want, can, Commander. Comrades like the ones on Lyris tend to be housed on elevated platforms with lots of ramps and choke points. I got the perfect lens for this job then. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. We're hinging everything on this plan's success. It is vital that Ostergaard's attention remains fixed on me and on the Re Restoration's army. Ex and to the exclusion of your operation on Lyris, and so I will give him something to focus on. I'm accelerating our offensive. We're marching on the Directorate Final Stronghold, Cordia City, the capital of Cromadier. It look it look like you're overextending ourselves. That's good, I guess, in this context. They'll be eager to punish you for it. We give him hell, Lady Arano. We rendezvous with you on Chromedir when the job is done. We got a job to do, people, and it'll be the biggest challenge we ever take on. So put on your war faces and follow the commander's lead. We've got dropship to crash. We recovered dropship, now we're crashing one. Oh, alright, jump capable, is it? Alright, so these can jump. Thunderbolt can jump. Catapult can jump. Jump, I think? Yeah, four. Only the archer can jump. Wait. No, the archer can jump. Every fucking mech can jump. Awesome can't jump, I don't think. Wait, they can jump. What? What is this? <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna keep on at this, to be honest. This was, this was a pretty good layout. Last mission kind of stomped everything. That was a four and a half. Four, four skull, five skull mission. Surely it won't be that bad, right? That big of an increase in difficulty. <laughs> Surely. Let's see what happens. Command interface initiated. Sorry for a rough landing. Para, you okay in there? Yeah, I'm all right. This Ramos seat is even less comfortable than it looks, though. Tell me about it. Did you find the care package I left in there for you? The explosives? Yes. I'll set them to bring down the control tower after I've uploaded the Locura to Iberia. Let's get moving, Commander. Lady Orano is counting on us. Close enough. Welcome to the field. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention, I uh, used the opportunity to uh, 
put this game back into my SSD so everything should be silky smooth now. No more choppy videos. And I saved it for the last mission because I have spare space now. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Jump capable. Let's just have everybody sprint ahead because there's oh, nothing God. threatening yet. Onward. Hopefully, we'll get to use the awesome. If not, we fail this mission, then we use the awesome. <laughs> the guy didn't say be ready with two max, two lances, right? I don't know. Anyway, oh boy, look at this. This is like a Mac Warrior Online map. Hmm. Okay, Popo. He's in the catapult, and he's got a ping as well. The catapult moves first. Interesting. This is the lightest mech we have in this entire circle. A fucking catapult. <laughs> okay, sure. Now the catapult. Hmm. Allied. Oh yeah, Farah. Farah. Far far Farah. One of those two. I don't know, man. Uh, Middle Eastern name. I don't know. I mean, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> Selpnir, where are you going? Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you going to the edge? What are you doing? Jesus. Oh, there's another Selpnir. I guess there's two engineering teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, 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 she did say that. Did she? I don't remember. I need to sneeze. Oh shit, a 75 ton in her. Oh my god. Also, I just realized. Where's the music? <laughs> it's so quiet. <laughs> Alright, this is the opportunity to start uh, pummeling the catapult to make sure it's very fucked by the time we get into straight line shooting range, yeah. There you go, no freezing when shooting. That just feels great. Structures exposed after one salvo or two salvo even, one attack. Pretty good shot. Okay, so the uh, hair hasn't spotted us yet. It's pretty good. Aladdin, he can't see as well. Oh, there you go, the music's here now. <laughs> 60. If I go here instead. 60. Oh, f it's LRM, right? It works further when it's far. It looks better when it's far away. And it's like 60 is the best thing I can get, so let's just do that. LRM 10. Fire. Right, it didn't hit the uh, structure, exposed structure, but uh, it's fine. Shriek PPC carrier. Oh boy, look at that thing. Whoa, triple, triple PPCs. Look, looks like a mouse. The mouse tank, the German tank in real life, you know? That uh, useless thing. Oh, you can get a uh, street firing line on this thing here. Might be a Vindicator, 45 ton. I don't know. The only mech I know who's that's 45 tons is a Vindicator. I, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's a multi shot. Let's just send everything into the Vindicator and LRM to the catapult. Sure. Still a bit freezing here and there, but it's way better than before, I guess. Fire. Engaging. Music's gone again. Oh, fuck Did the uh, move fuck the music or something? Nice. It's armor held. Interesting. Oh! Nice! Dude! Nice shot. Really nice shot. Looks like it's left, uh, right arm is, uh, exposed. So I can take out a PPC. Um, then it should not be as dangerous. And even then, it's getting pretty close. The PPCs aren't really good at close range. Ooh, I don't know. What is that? Okay, it's official. Rumble seats are a bad idea. Oh, she's she's riding with me. Okay. I really, really don't. I mean, I guess I am in a assault mech. I guess wide, the, the widest, the thickest mech available right now. So, uh, yeah, I think it makes sense for her to be riding with me. Move order anyway, let's have a uh, purple here. My God, a catapult short. It's just a, it's just one level, like class level beneath it. But it's so short. What the fuck? All right, PPC dead. It's not gonna be as dangerous as before. Really hope the PPC, the APC, this doesn't 
Don't go in front of them. What are you doing? Dude, what the fuck is that? Ryan, what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Alright, I gotta send someone right there. Don't stomp on it. Okay. They're ignoring me so far. I'll take it. They're ignoring them, not me. Okay, this one's going straight over there. Uh, I know there's a catapult there. That's uh, that's Lucas. That's Jenner. Do these things not have guns? No, oh, no! Don't shoot the. Okay, thankfully the game beefed up their health. <laughs> It'd be bad if it didn't. Oof, I can shoot everything onto this Vindicator. Or, 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 or. I'm gonna shoot the Orion because that thing is dangerous. It's gonna AC 10. Actually, it's not that dangerous. But it is pretty armored, so yeah, it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Orion, that's what Kerensky wrote, right? Before he left the system, the, 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 he went, he, before he found Pentagon Worlds. I'm pretty sure that's what Kerensky, Alexander Kerensky, uh, piloted the Orion. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. Probably am wrong. <laughs> right, Thunderbolt. You need to just rush on the head. You need to divert uh, fire from the APCs because uh, they decide to just run on the head without any form of cover. I feel like I should shoot the Jenner. This er, the now let's see how you handle this. Ah, why? Oh, I saw, I saw red. I saw red. Did I see red? Was I seeing something else? What's going on here? Shriek or Shrek? Shrek? <laughs> nice, nice, nice! Something shooting missiles. Yeah, this is what Battlefield actually sound like, you know, just no music. I mean, there is some music in the background there, but the uh, it's not like, you know, like a dun, dun, dun music, you know. Let's have the uh, Alander go up here and uh, we'll shoot a Jenner, I think. Now we'll do a we, 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 multi-shot. We'll send... We'll send all this to the Jenner. Then the like this medium lasers, and go to the catapult. Yeah, fire. Nice. Structures exposed. Very nice. Nice twenties across the board. Let's see what Shrek can do. It's actually called Shrek. <laughs> But I guess that thing was designed before the movie came out, so... Battletech is a, an old... Is it old? It's, I'm pretty sure it, it come, came into form in the 1980s, I think? 80s or 90s, one of those two. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was conceived for Shrek. Uh, maybe Shrek? I don't know, then. Shrek was a book, wasn't it? Before a movie? I don't remember. <laughs>